Good afternoon. My evaluation will focus on the authenticity, production, and entertainment value of the motion pictures Heat and Gamora, as well as highlighting unique qualities of each movie when evaluated against one another. Though a work of fiction, Heat is a great movie because the execution of the crime drama tale it tells is so realistic and energizing that it may have actually influenced real life events. Gamora is another crime drama of magnificent quality, an Italian production whose plotline mimics the realities of the Neapolitan underworld. The realism depicted in the twin crime drama sagas could be considered on par with a documentary, vividly capturing the suspense and dread inside and outside the realms of fiction. Both amazing works of film. Heat is an epic crime saga clocking in at an amazing 170 minutes that chronicles the violent and deadly hunt between master thief Neil Macaulay, portrayed by Robert De Niro, and his crew of ex-cons versus the uncompromising and dedicated lawman Vincent Hanna, portrayed by Al Pacino, and his LAPD major crimes unit. Heat is a stylistic, suspenseful, thrilling depiction of major league underworld players and the brave people who try to stop them. Gamora's five vignettes portray the chilling, terrifying stories of the criminals caught up in the Neapolitan Camorra, southern Italy's traditional criminal syndicates that battle for money, turf, and power. Raw and powerful, this subtitled foreign film documents five lives thrust into turmoil by the Fiata di Scampia within the Deloro clan. Although there are many Hollywood productions depicting Italian organized crime, such as Godfather, Godfather 2, and not so much Godfather 3, and of course, the classic Goodfellas, I selected these two fine specimens for evaluation because of their well-balanced action, drama, and subplots that develop throughout the stories. The rubric I chose is based upon five key factors. Production value, actors, budget, cinematography, and soundtrack. And I'll also give my overall impression at the conclusion of this presentation. The two movies could not be more different from one another with regard to budget, locations, and storyline, but the entertainment quality is outstanding, making these two films a must-see not only for the general movie-going audience, but also for the hardcore movie enthusiast. Heat contains a world-renowned Academy Award-winning cast, whereas Gamora possesses stellar performances by virtual unknown thespians. Heat's authenticity is fleshed out by director Michael Mann, who also took 20 years to develop the script, and finds its genesis in the true story of Detective Chuck Abramson's pursuit of a real-life Neil Macaulay, whose brilliant and calculating criminal antics are brought to life by Robert De Niro. Gamora's story is based on the book of the same name in which author Roberto Saviano published information gleaned from his infiltration and investigation of the Camorra, southern Italy's historically powerful underworld that controls many aspects of daily life in the warring clans that battle over the ever lucrative drug trade in Naples, Italy. Because of Mr. Saviano's work, he requires 24 hour a day bodyguards to this day. The budgets for both movies are vastly different in that Heat was produced, directed, and marketed for $60 million in the vein of the standard blockbuster, complete with all the trappings of and hallmarks of the major league Hollywood studios. The casting spared no expense, hiring silver screen heavyweight A-listers like Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, Ashley Judd, Amy Brenneman, and a very unique performance by Native American actor Wes Studi, which I found particularly incredible. 
Gamora has the flavor and aesthetic of a smart foreign film highlighted with Neapolitan and Italian language dubbing, keeping the viewer enthralled with its exotic themes and visuals. Produced at the other end of the financial spectrum for $6.2 million, Gamora stars performers whose yet-to-be-discovered hidden potential deliver exceptional performances on par with the A-listers in Heat. The two movies boast vastly different production and filmmaking sources, yet the talent in front of and behind the camera are comparable when the two stories unfold. Heat is an American crime drama depicting a deadly cat and mouse pursuit between law enforcement and criminal elements set against the backdrop of Los Angeles. Robert De Niro brilliantly portrays an ex-con and master thief Neil McCauley leading a dangerous professional crew taking down scores in Los Angeles. Al Pacino portrays an ex-marine and dedicated lawman detective Vincent Hanna whose uncompromising tactics spearhead his LAPD major crimes unit as they investigate and attempt to bring down Macaulay's crew across beautifully captured locales in the City of Angels. To me, this movie represents both De Niro and Pacino at the apex of their powers and whose dual dynamic performances will leave you breathless. Heat's cinematography is outstanding and dynamic in every frame, ranging from the film's most sleek and artsy moments then escalating up to its most explosive scenes, including a 20-minute bank robbery gone wrong and subsequent shootout that many feel inspired the North Hollywood shootout of 1997. The shots used are singular and stand apart from the rest, avoiding cliched and over-familiar areas of L.A. as the location scouts intentionally insisted on using parts of the city that had never been filmed before, adding to the movie's individuality and keeping it all fresh for the viewer. Gamora takes place in Naples, Italy, telling five chilling tales played out in vignettes that revolve around the Camorra, the underworld syndicates that operate in the Campania region of Italy. These gangs function differently than traditional Cosa Nostra families as they ruthlessly battle for power and turf, and this modus operandi lends to Gamora's uniqueness, avoiding the boring, tired, and overused mafia plots that have spoiled the genre. The movie's five stories run parallel, starting with Don Chiro, a meek, middle-aged middleman caught in the crossfire of two warring factions, and Toto, a 13-year-old innocent who, like so many, is sadly initiated into a local Camorra clan, and Roberto, a lone protagonist who has the morality to live up to what his law-abiding father instilled in him, and Pascal, the Hal Couture tailor that attempts to skim from his boss and risking his life in the process. And lastly, the tragic tale of Marco and Sweet Pea, two wannabe gangsters who suffer the consequences of their own stubborn foolishness. Gamora's cinematography is exceptional, exposing us to the gritty and sullen world that most of us will thankfully never see, and the haunting beauty of realities in the Scampia region are on display thanks to the talents of cinematographer Marco Honorato. Gamora made multiple top 10 lists upon its release in 2008 and has since been hailed as the new Italian epic. Even though the stories told in these two fine specimens unfold on opposite sides of the planet, we find frightening similarities of two distinct cultures as both movies contain well-developed characters that we truly care about. The pain, heartbreak, and motivations of the antagonists and protagonists a superbly filmed, leaving an indelible mark for the audience, no matter what the taste or preference. The two movies are complemented with haunting soundtracks, which both contain remarkable pieces by a myriad of talented artists, both popular and eclectic. Heat's score consists of familiar names like U2, Moby, Brian Eno, the always ethereal Lisa Gerrard, and my new favorite, the Kronos Quartet. Gamora's soundtrack is a daring, bold, traditional exploration of Italian and European flavor, which prompted this particular writer to YouTube and explore every artist listed. So my overall impression and decision is this. Heat takes the day by the slimmest of margins. While Gamora is an amazing movie, timeless and masterful, 
Heat is full of style, wit, and dazzling camera work, and will surely make its mark on the average moviegoer and enthrall the movie enthusiast. Gamora is just as brilliant, but in a different way. It is very grimy, very down to earth. You see the ugly sides of Naples. And if you want to experience the life in the ultra-violent world of organized crime, and you want to know what the realities of being in the Kimura mob really feel like, look no further. Thank you very much.